tuneful toots. The little engines of the narrow gauge railway were always busy. They went uphill and downhill all day long. Rusty's favorite journey was by the lake. He liked to toot his horn there. The sound echoed around the hills. Rusty's horn was special. It had two notes, one high and one low. Rusty thought he had a very tuneful too. But the other engines thought it was the worst noise they'd ever heard. And that made Rusty sad. One morning, the narrow-gauge controller, Mr. Percival, had a special announcement to make. Sir Topham and Lady Hart are to visit our railway this evening, he said grandly. This is a very special occasion, so a brass band is coming to play for them, Mr. Percival added. The engines were very excited. But Rusty was most excited of all. He loved the sounds of a brass band. There was a lot to do. Scarloli and Reneus brought tables and chairs. Duncan and Peter Sam brought apples and pears from the orchard. And Rusty was to take the brass band on a tour of the hills before the concert. When Rusty pulled into the transfer yards, Mr. Percival was waiting with the brass band. Rusty couldn't help but toot his horn high and low. At that moment, Thomas chucked into the transfer yards with the bandstand. What was that wonderful sound, puffed Thomas? That was Rusty, peeped Peter Sam. He thinks his horn is special, but we don't. Well, I think it's special, wished Thomas. This made Rusty very happy. No one had ever liked his horn before. Rusty! The brass band are ready for their tour of the hills, called Mr. Percival. Yes, sir, hooted Rusty. The brass band was soon on board, and Rusty pulled quickly out of the station. Don't be back late, Mr. Percival called after him. But Rusty didn't hear. He was tooting his two tones loud and clear. going to give the brass band the best tour ever, he said. Rusty took them to the top of the highest hill. Then they went to the viaduct. Then he took them to the trestle bridge. It would soon be time for the concert. The band started to tune their instruments. The sound of their notes filled Rusty's funnel. He was very happy. So happy, he forgot all about getting back for the concert. I know, thought Rusty. Now I'll take the band to the lake. He wanted this trip to go on forever and ever. Rusty happily clickety-clacked towards the lake. His horn was toot tooting to the music of the brass band. He wished all the other engines could hear him now. The ruined castle looked magical in the sunset. Rusty's tuneful train crossed the lake. Then there was trouble. Rusty shuddered to a stop. Rusty had made a terrible mistake. He had gone too far and he had run out of diesel oil. Now the brass band wouldn't get back for the concert. This was a disaster. Thomas chucked into the transfer yard with Sir Topham Hat and Lady Hat. Mr. Percival looked very unhappy. Rusty had not returned with the brass band. Everyone was very worried. The band leader was very worried, too. How will anyone know where we are, he asked Rusty. Suddenly, Rusty tooted very loudly. If you all play and I hoot my horn very loudly, 
our sound will echo all the way down to the yards. Then everyone will know where we are. The band leader was happy. He waved his baton. One, two, three, he called. The band started to play. And Rusty tooted his two tones louder and prouder than ever before. Thomas was the first to hear the sound. That's Rusty, he puffed. I'm the brass band, Duncan shouted. Everyone listened. They could hear Rusty's two-tone horn echoing down the valley. They must be in trouble, whistled Thomas. Follow the sound of Rusty's horn, Thomas wished. Then you'll be able to find him. If the brass band is with Rusty, said Sir Topham Hatt, we'll have the concert there. Everyone thought this was a wonderful idea, especially Mr. Percival. The brass band played as loudly as they had ever done. Rusty was sure the whole of Sodor could hear them. Then he saw engine lamps coming towards them. Rusty was so surprised. All the engines were arriving at the lake, and none of them was telling him to be quiet. We have come to hear the concert, boomed Sir Topham Hatt. We heard your horn, puffed Peter Sam. So we knew where to find you, chuffed Duncan. Because you had the most special sounding horn of all, we Scarlowy. I shall never be shy about my special horn again, Rusty tooted. Let the concert begin! All the engines blew their whistles. And Rusty tunefully tooted his two-tone horn loudest of all.